Welcome back to Mind Z History and Color. Today we'll be looking at the Alice the Killer Directory Ambition Conspiracy. According to Irish Kaiser, the Alice the Killer Directory Ambition Conspiracy was a major conspiracy designed by Alice the Killer 43 against her ex boyfriend company member Cyclone 43. The conspiracy's end game was to bring about the removal of Cyclone 43 and the emplacement of Alice the Killer 43 as a member of the UTC's directory. The conspiracy would first start by causing a crisis and blaming it on Cyclone. Throughout mid to late April 2017, Alice convinced many who were unhappy with Irish or bored with the game in general to leave at the same time. UTC Regimental Trap Manuster and UTC Company member Yakuza 4 would prove pivotal in exposing the plan before Alice could execute the final stages. On April 30th, 2017, a member of the conspiracy decided to leave early, and the plan was executed prematurely. Alice was then exposed by Trap Manuster and Yakuza privately to Irish, who then began questioning Alice publicly in the UTC. Shortly thereafter, Alice was demoted from company member and kicked from the UTC as she continued to lie. Now, the importance of this situation and this moment in Mind Z history is not to fall back on the direct actions, but to fall back on the encompassing conspiracy. Those three other main conspirators were Gun Overdose, Unmask Me, aka Laroon, and Jam Wizard 2. Jam Wizard was brought on board the conspiracy as Alice promised with Cyclone removed, he could rightfully take over as the regimental captain of the 234th Regiment of Whitehaven. Jam Wizard planned to continue training recruits had the plan been executed properly. Jam Wizard would issue an apology some weeks after the incident and would remove Alice from the friend group Discord called Sus, where many of the players who left the UTC sought refuge. Laroon wanted Cyclone to be removed as Alice had made him out to be abusive. Laroon had recently been demoted to being in charge of the 1st Regiment's 2nd Battalion rather than the 1st Battalion. She felt that Irish was replacing her with Trogger. And spoiler alert, he replaced her with Trogger when she left. Laroon, along with feeling burnt out from the game, also had a family member with ALS. In Laroon's time in TB, she would apologize to Cyclone for the incident, claiming the information that has just been provided. Gun Overdose, perhaps the biggest player in this conspiracy, remained unknown as a supporter for nearly a year. Gun successfully went after and removed Cyclone as a regimental captain from the UTC in January 2018. Some two months later, he wrote the following in an issue of the Empire. Editorial. Everything has a price. Usually, I don't write editorials often. However, this has been on my mind a lot recently, and I thought it's worth a damn to share. One of the biggest struggles of being a leader is realizing the truth behind this statement. Everything has a price. Nothing in life, or this game, is free. It comes with consequences or cost. That's just the reality of it. One event to this day that sticks out in my mind is the Al situation and the prices we paid for it. Now to be clear, this is not what everyone thinks. This is just my personal thoughts. Alice, whether or not I want to accept it, wasn't any different than me. Both wanted to overthrow someone of power that was bad. One understood the consequences of their actions and the other was oblivious to them. Because of this, not only did Alice pay the price, but everyone did. Instead of taking someone down with a history that spoke of their self-destructive nature and desperation for power, the one who arguably had good intentions, failed. Often when members of the clan hear the word Alice, it does not have positive responses. However, I view it as looking in the mirror. It demonstrates how much damage can be caused from a failure. We hide ourselves from this tendency because we wanted to view Alice as the evil one. Was Alice innocent? No. Was I innocent when I did the same thing? No. Yet history shows itself as me as a hero and Alice as a villain. I'm no hero. I just know every action has a price, and I knew for which ones I could pay. End quote. Now, throughout 2018, suspicions would later confirm that Gunn had been involved in the plot and attempts to remove Cyclones. Um, then I have some cringy shit written here about the Sith rule too with Irish and Gunn, and that's really cringe, so I'm not, I'm not going to read it. So... On with the final section. The direct outcome of this event would result in a shift against Americans in the UTC. The following UTC regiments mostly disband after this event. The 17th of Polister, which never had its colors granted, and the 111th of Frostbane. The UTC's first regiment would also only have Pi, Shrugger, and Irish who played actively following this event. These three still play to this current day. The UTC's 93rd Regiment was largely crippled from the scandal, and Alice's incompetence as its regimental captain would actually allow Gun Overdose to rebuild the 93rd, which would later become the UTC's backbone throughout the majority of 2018. 
The 234th Regiment remained unaffected by this change, but would later amalgamate with the remnants of the 111th to form the 501st Regiment of Alhassa. A key member of the community, Judas Sicarius, a.k.a. Joe, would attend his first Mind Z Clan event with the UTC in the days following the crisis on a company march held by Cyclone to help reunify the remaining UTC members. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Mind Z History in Color. Stay tuned for next week's episode, Task Force Chester, led by none other than Furcho.